Okay, Assalamualaikum. Uh, in this video, I'm going to continue to explain about another two uh, appraisal techniques of uh, payback period and also accounting rate of return. Okay, so before we go into that two techniques, uh, let's recap the selection rules of the uh, appraisal techniques. Okay, so uh, in the last video, I have explained about these first three techniques, MPV, IRR, and also MIRR. So in this video, I'm going to cover another two, okay, uh, with regard to payback period and also accounting rate of return. <coughs> so for payback period, uh, we are looking at the target period to gain your invested money, invested capital. We are not talking about uh, the period that you are going to get profit, okay? So the period that you can get the invested money. So for example, like you are going to invest ten million ringgit. So how long it takes for you to get back your 10 million ringgit? Okay, so that's what, what we want to define as payback period. So of course, uh, we're going to accept uh, the option that we have if the payback period is less than target period. Okay, for example, like if your company uh, targeted uh, two years to get back your invested money. So after you apply the, the appraisal technique using payback period uh, calculation, you get one and a half years. Okay, so you, you can accept that option. If more than target period, you have to reject it. If it equals, uh, it's up to you lah. Okay, if you target two years, you get two years, within two years or so, so it's up to you, it's, it's, uh, it's indifferent. Okay, you have to accept or reject. <coughs> For accounting rate of return, it's your target rate. Okay, how much you want to get from that particular investment in terms of percentage. Okay, so for example, like you're targeting uh, 20%, okay, if more than 20%, we're going to accept it. If less than 20 percent, we're going to reject it. It was, again, it's in different path. Okay, so just, uh, just recap the selection rule. <coughs> okay, uh, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, the theory behind payback period and also uh, accounting rate of return. Okay, before uh, we're going to uh, see on how we can calculate it. Alright, <coughs> so for, for payback period, <coughs> It involves calculating how long it takes for a project to repay its original invested capital. I mentioned this now. Okay, so we are looking at how long it takes for us to get back our money. So if you are going to invest 5 million, how long it takes to get back your 5 million? Alright, so the shorter the payback period, the greater is the likelihood the project will be profitable. Okay, so my spark is my Okay, so that's how we define a payback period. Right, uh, for accounting rate of return, uh, we are looking at a uh, year sometimes called as, as an average annual rate of return. So, this method involves calculating the average rate and expressing it as a percentage of the invested capital. Okay, so uh, how much you can gain from your investment money. Okay, so this is the formula income divided by investment times n, n is the period times 100%. Again, accounting rate of return is in percentage. Right, so that's an overview on what is payback period and what is accounting rate of return. Okay, so the next video we are looking at, we are going to look at on how we can apply these two techniques.